Hello everyone, I'm Arkansas Storm Team Meteorologist Alex Libby and in this weather blog we are talking about ENSO or El Nino Southern Oscillation. That's a South Pacific, Tropical Pacific Ocean current that does impact our weather. And the reason we're talking about it is because for the past three years it's been in its cool phase, La Nina, and now it's switching into the warm phase, El Nino. And you can see that these are the current sea surface temperatures from right now. And you can see in the eastern tropical Pacific, the sea surface temperatures are warmer than normal, which is El Nino. And the reason we're talking about it also is because it impacts our weather, both in the summer and in the winter. First, let's talk about this summer for hurricane season, which overall will impact our weather the most. Here in Arkansas, we know what happens in the summer. It's hot, it's humid, we see afternoon thunderstorms. That's the same thing every year. But some years we get some tropical storms that will bring us heavy rainfall, and that will also help ease drought conditions. Well, unfortunately, this past summer we were in La Nina, we saw drought conditions. And the trend for El Nino in the summer is lower than average hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean. And that can bring us extra rain for the late summer period into the fall. So without that, since we're expected to see lower than average hurricanes, we could see another dry summer with more drought conditions. Now let's talk about the winter. During times of El Nino, this is what we normally see in the winter. Cooler, wetter than average conditions here in Arkansas and over the southern United States, and warmer than average conditions in the northern part of the United States. And overall, the El Nino and La Nina don't really impact us all that much, but it is pretty cool to see that our ocean current way down in the South Pacific can actually impact our weather here in Arkansas. So again, don't be surprised if we see more drought conditions this summer. Don't be surprised if we don't see if we see a lot of rain and also warmer than cooler than average conditions this upcoming winter, winter 2023, winter 2024.